girl, your guy might be gay and I want to make sure that you have the real deal holy field about these men and how they move so that you can be best informed when you're in these dating streets. Now, as a dating coach for 14 years and also as your fairy godbrother and someone who is super duper gay, <laughs> I mean like uh, fruity, sweet, Kool-Aid gay, so sweet you gotta put so much sugar that the sugar steam is coming out gay, I think I'm uniquely qualified to give you the tea on all things gay. Now, I think that there are three kinds of gay guys out there. There's the bisexual guys that are like partly gay, no shade, no bi erasure tea. There are the DL guys who are attracted to men, but ashamed of it and won't be out and out and proud with that and then you have the what i call the strays these are the straight gays these guys aren't necessarily gay but they will engage in sexual activity with men because of the accessibility of it or they have certain sexual kinks that they might have that they don't want to do with women because they're ashamed but it's more about the sexual act and less about the partner so those are like the third kind of gay that i think a lot of people don't necessarily talk about or think about. Now, when I was growing up, there are multiple ways to do it. You know, as kids, we would ask them one or two, and if they said one, it meant that they liked pencil, or we would tell them to check their nails. If they do this, they're straight. If they do this, they're gay. Um, but, you know, one of the things that I always check is if you're in a jacuzzi with him and he has his butt to the jet, it means he's gay. Ask any gay boy and they will tell you. They always put their butt to the jet girl, and that's on Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> but I have more research that will give you a sense of if a guy is gay or not. Okay, so please understand that the most homophobic men out there are gay. And if you're homophobic as well, and you're aligned with guys that are homophobic, you're probably going to be attracting more gay guys. Because stri straight guys don't care about gay guys, right? If your guy's talking about the fact that Bruce became Caitlyn or this guy and the way he walks thou protest too much yeah so if he's super homophobic he's probably gay in some way shape or form if he is feet if his feet are pointed toward a guy when he wa a guy walks into the room he's a gay guy specifically he's probably gay if he looks at guys and looks them up and down he's probably gay if he's been in the military or prison he's probably a stray a straight gay um, it's kind of like when you're in those environments, it's kind of like COVID. You, you get it, girl, and then there's long haul. You always have a little bit of it. It doesn't go away. <laughs> so um, you want to make sure you understand that man's history. The other thing in terms of online, you want to check his IG and who he follows. If he's following more muscular men than women, he probably is dabbling in something. Um, you can go onto YouTube and you can check if, um, you know, the grinder which is a dating app notification if you play that and he looks at you immediately he's probably gay um research also says that the youngest son of the family has a higher propensity of being gay and then i also look at fingers right so if this index finger is longer than the ring finger totally gay because that's generally how women's hands are um so that will give you also a good sense of if a guy is gay or not i hope this helps um, let me know how you figure out if guys are gay and if you need, if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I will definitely answer them.